if you want to be able to claim that you're the best or if you want to talk your shit if you have like a big ego and you think in your subconscious mind or you're just self-confident as a whole and you think that you're like built different that you are exceptional and above the rest not in like a, a condescending way or a superiority complex way but if you truly believe that you deserve more out of life and that you are capable of achieving great things then you have to be able to be willing to do and you have to go where other people won't i'm out here it's actually not too bad outside it's like 35 degrees out but there's literally i just clocked in like 1.66 miles on my run today and i just cranked out like 50 pull-ups very slow but painful 50 pull-ups on this pull-up bar here in the freezing cold and the only other person i saw out here was some guy who biked here to get some speed work in on the track no one else aside from that and aside from like people who are like walking their dogs and shit most people aren't out here in the freezing cold and willing to be on their grind right that's the thing that separates you from the rest and i'm not talking about just doing it one time when it's like extremely cold and going for a run that day i'm talking about doing this on the daily doing this consistently if this is what you want out of life if you want to be an exceptional athlete then you have to be out here putting in the work or if you want to have rock hard discipline or be able to achieve the things that you set out for yourself the goals that you believe that you can accomplish then you have to be willing to do things that others won't because if you think that everybody kind of if everybody had that same mentality that matched their actions then everybody would be world-class athletes or everybody would be the cream of the crop but that's just not the case only the people who are willing to put their actions in line with what they're thinking say if they think they're going to be the best track star in the world then they have to be putting in the action that matches that mindset right if you just have the mindset part you're not going to be shit ever you're just going to be left with unfulfilled dreams unfulfilled promises that you set out these goals and then you're going to be left with major disappointment when in your mind you think you should be accomplishing great things but then here you are sitting on your couch watching netflix all day and not the world-class athlete that you thought you were you were supposed to be or you're destined to be right so that's where the cognitive dissonance comes into play and you end up really just being confused because you're like i should be i should be accomplishing all these great things and then comparison comes into play where you're like why is this guy why is this guy doing all these great things and i can't even get off get off my ass to go go for a run when it's 32 out right it's because that person was willing to put in the work consistently and they had high quality work that they're able to get to that point if you just go out because i i'm victim to this as well and i'm i'm definitely guilty of it where I'm like, oh, I haven't gone for, I haven't exercised in like a week. This literally just happened on this break. I haven't exercised in a week and it's, we just got hit with the coldest snowstorm, right? I posted the video a couple days ago where it felt like negative one degrees outside and I would decide to go for a run. If that, if I just happen to do that on one-off chance events, sure, I'm going places and doing things that most people aren't doing because I didn't really see many people out when I was on that run and I'm doing the uncommon and the difficult things, right? But it's not consistently, so I'm not building any substantial foundation. So if even if I do those like one-off super intense workouts that where it's fucking freezing outside, that's not gonna make me a world-class athlete unless you do those types of things every single day. That's why you like, that's why I go to the gym at 6 a.m., right? Because most people aren't willing to go there for one and for two because it's like nice and, uh, mostly empty there i can like get machines and stuff whereas in the middle of the day it's fucking packed as hell so you know that's kind of the the basis of the video and the message for today is that in order to have the mindset and be able to talk your shit and actually have your reality and your real life line up with the things that you're thinking in your head then you have to be willing to do and to go where other people won't so that's gonna be the video for today thanks for watching i'll see you next time remember to stay on target